entertains. At gayon, ang pinakahihintay ng buong bayang Pilipinas, nagkatotoo na rin ang pinapangarap ng rekonsilyasyon na kay tagal nang hinihintay ng buong bayan. At ang rekonsilyasyon na to ay dyan magaganap dito mismo sa RPN The Network sa pinakamalakas na programang Actually yun na, mga kababayan. Dito lang pwede magtagpo ang silangan at kanluran, ang langit at lupa, ang buwan at araw, ang Romualdez, ang Kuwampo, Marcos, Aquino at Ignacio. <laughs> Walang iba kundi si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Tumayo po tayo lahat at pagpugay. Congressman! Isa tumayo. Hello po. Welcome to Actually Unite. Thank, Thank you very you. much at pinaunlakan mo kami. No, not at all. It's, it's a pleasure. Nung, nung dumating yung panyaya sa akin, eh, di sabi ko, bakit hindi? Sa, sa wakas. Sa... Oo oh, naman. At magkumparit kumari tayo. Ah, mayon, Meron ah, kaming inaanak yung anak ko ng isang mayor from Isabela, si Mayor Bodji D. How are you? I am fine, thank you very much. Uh, I've been uh, a little busy, but... I uh, commented kanina na you lost a lot of weight. Is I, it because of your health club, hindi? Well, uh, I try to keep a health regimen. Talagang uh, nat natutunan ko yun sa ama ko is to try and uh, exercise. Lalo na pagka uh, nangangampanya ka o nasa labas ka, it's very important, you know, because you have to keep going, you don't eat at the right time, di ka natutulog. So, those things have to be maintained. Speaking of your father, what was President Marcos like as a father growing up? Kasi how old were you when he was elected, Bale? Um, yung, yung unang birthday ko sa Palacio was eight. Eight, eight years, years old. old. Oh. So, most actually, all of your teenage years? All of my teenage years. and Including your twenties? Most of my twenties. Uh -oh. yeah, mga twenty-eight na kami nung umalis. So, that was, uh, that was a long, long time. Yeah, in the was Palacio. he a disciplinarian? Well, hindi naman sa disciplinarian in the sense that uh, he would make very clear kung anong, uh, anong hinahanap niya sa inyo, what mm -hmm. he expects from you. And he would make it very clear if you did not live up to the standards that he put, that uh, may, na medyo masama ang loob niya sa iyo. Uh, in terms of actual pure discipline, yung pama, nag, nag, pumapalo or something like that, hindi naman gano. Ang mommy mo? Mami ko, mas lalong yes. hindi. Masyadong mabait yun. She cannot even, uh, she, she would just, uh, siguro pag hindi na niya matiis yung, uh, yung frustration niya, iiyak na lang yun. Pero I, in terms of actual, actual beating, as, the, as yes. the English call it, I was beaten more in my school in England than I ever was by my parents. But when you were studying here, nasa Lasal ka, di Lasal Green Hills, yes. How was it? Uh, was it a problem dahil marami kang bodyguards? Were the other boys... Ilang? Medyo aloof ba sila sa'yo? Well, I'm sure nadaanan mo rin yun. Yet, of course, Di, kahit... Pero ako high school na, oh, so medyo bagay. iba na yung ano Ka nun. Kasi kung bata naman, yung mga ganong, ganong edad, hindi pa masyadong naiisip. Natutuwa lang sila. May mga baril ba yan? May mga ano, yan lang naman ang tinatanong. But uh, madaling makalimutan yan. Basta't mga bata, nakikita mo, magsasama-sama. Maglalaro yan. So it wasn't really, it wasn't really a problem. And... Uh, when it when it would have been a problem in high school, I had already left, so I was uh, in the in in England. Hindi na masadyo yung security na kikita. Nung ano ka, when you were growing up, did you have children's parties sa Malacanang? Oh, madalas, madalas. In fact, yung mga children's parties namin, yung mga party namin uh -huh. mga magkapatid, do naginagawa sa sa palasyo because uh, we would invite a lot of people. They would have performers and things like that. We'd have we'd have great parties in the palace. All your life, kasi, bale, both parents are very active in politics. Do you think that is what has led you to go into this kind of life? Oh, in, uh, hindi mo maiwasan. There is no, no way. The, the only way you can uh, explain uh, my have, having entered politics is mm -hmm. definitely because of uh, how my father really, uh, that he, he even said it in his, uh, when he was still alive, uh, that, that uh, he would say, I have committed not only myself, to the work that I have done. I have not committed only my person, but my wife and my family too. And uh, the time will come when you will find that you have no choice. Uh, not, not to enter politics, but perhaps in the positions, in the, the kind of causes that we would champion. So, matagal na talagang na, alam na namin na kahit papano, yung ginawa ng aming ama will uh, affect us for, for the rest of our lives, so, in whatever fashion. So, and it, it's turning out to be true, because how can something that 
that dominant uh, be, be suddenly just just go away so kahit na ngayon ilang taon na ito we're still feeling the effects of uh, what my father what my father did and i have no doubt uh, to the day i die i will be feeling those effects you're the middle child ba i am the middle child yes how is it kasi ako youngest eh, so medyo na baby talaga ako ikaw middle child only boy pa uh Siguro, I don't know. It never felt Dominating like... Dominating bang ate si Aimee? Hindi the, naman. Uh, ate. She was a proper uh-huh. ate. Tinuturoan kami. Kaya halimbawa, nung bata pa kami, nung una kaming dumating lalo sa England dahil uh, hindi, hindi kami marunong. Bakit kayo pinadala sa England? Mostly security. Yes. Uh, madami kami problema sa security dahil uh, ako, marami Anong mga Anong year na when you went to England? I left eh? for England in 1969. My first, uh-huh. no, 70. 70 was my first year there. And then you stayed there until when? I stayed there for almost 10 years until uh, the eight, I until I left for uh, University of uh, Philadelphia of Pennsylvania. Nagwarton ka, yeah, diba? that's when so, I went to Wharton, yeah. Do you feel na those 10 years helped you a lot kasi at least um hin- medyo ordinaryo kang citizen. In, oh, malaking in, oh, malaking bagay dahil in fact that was one of the reasons, no, that my father but uh, of of course he would have preferred Na oh, no. dito kami naka, dito kami nakatira sa Manila. How did you keep in touch with what was going on dito? It was Because syempre when martial law was declared, you were abroad. It wasn't easy. I was uh, when martial law was declared, uh-huh. uh, we had expected something dramatic to yes. happen. Uh, because marami nung basis na my dad would say that this is a real problem, we may have to do this, we may have to do that. But um, in, in 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 general, how did we keep up? My parents would send us newspaper clippings. Mm-hmm. Uh, we would call. We would write. In, in in my school in England, there was uh, you had to write one letter to your parents every week. Talaga. So that uh, that was it was actually a good thing because i- i- iba yung tawag eh. iba yung iba yung sulat yung sulat hinahawakan mo and you can read it again and again. And it really uh, taught, taught, I think, both sides, including my parents, the, the habit of writing. So they would send us the news, uh, nung nauso na yung um, videotape, magpapadala yes. ng videotape. So that they would try, but inevitably, pag uwi mo rito, maraming nangyari na hindi mo na namalayan. So you just have to catch up. Medyo, let's go naman dun sa lighter side. Ang first girlfriend mo ba, since you were in England, <laughs> British ba siya? <laughs> Ay, nako, nung nasa England ako, wala akong panahon. Hindi, hindi kami pinapalabas na iskulahan. They would not, they would let oh. me out. I would be in school for, isang semester namin was three months. Mm-hmm. Sa tatlong buwan, I would be able to sleep one night outside of school. Yun lang. Yun lang. Uh-huh. And every month, I could spend one Sunday out of school. So, so when you'd make legal, dito na? Ah, dito na siguro sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Kasi dito, doon, halos di ka, kahit yung mga restaurant, yung mga bar, di ka makapasok, yung mga nightclub. Eh dito, hindi masyadong stricto. Kahit basta may kasama kang may edad, they will let you in. Do you feel na a lot of the girls were <laughs> fawning over you na pinagkakaguluhan ka dahil bongbong Marcos ka? Uh, or do you think it's your charming personality? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that they were fawning over me to begin with. Uh, I don't know kung bakit lahat ng tao ang kanilang impression sa akin are that the women were fawning over me. There were, believe me, there were times kung I would be calling trying to get a date and I couldn't get the date. Why suddenly this image of uh, women fawning all over me? But I, I don't know. Uh, I think yung, uh, pag, you, you tell me if I'm right. Yung paganak ng presidente that last mga 5-10 minutes unless may complex na talaga yung tao yung talagang galit sa'yo ka dahil anak ka ng presidente wala ka na magagawa. But karamihan naman ng mga tao pagka nakausap mo na after 5-10 minutes wala na that's over. Uh, except for the fact that you're surrounded by Would armed anybody men. have the guts to say na, Oy, pare, galit ako sa'yo. Bakit ganyan naman ang mga magulang mo? Would they d- dare do that to you? Hindi naman. Meron, magkikriticize mag- sila, pero hindi yung galit ako sa'yo. Sasabihin, bakit naman ganyan? Alam mo yung tao, hindi ganyan dapat, hindi ganyan ang, hindi tama ang ginagawa, hindi, hindi ganyan ang tingin sa ginagawa ninyo, etc., etc. So, uh, inevitably, that, that would happen. Kasi naman, if you have good friends, uh, they will tell you what they believe to be the best. Pagka naman sa tingin nila, it's, 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 it's a criticism that is not merely to, not, not mischievous or naninira lang, then it, it, that's, that's valid and you just accept it. How would you react about the criticism hurled at your parents through the press and through the mass media? Uh, I guess, nung talagang mabigat na, tsaka masakit na, well, there were times, no, that uh, especially after 86, when people were taking real liberties with the truth. And... Uh, 
wala nandoon kami hindi na hindi, hindi kami makasagot hindi ko hindi ko wala kaming access sa mga media wala tayong magagawa ganun lang talaga but yung run of the mill na pangkaraniwan na criticism kung tawagin let's say sa sa mga payagan sa radyo sa TV well i have been i we, we have been experiencing my father's political life for a long long time i remember in 1963 64 when he was senate president wala kaming narinig kundi oust senate president marcos every day i remember that so we have been used we've been used to this kind of thing no and uh, kahit papano if you're in politics there's no way around it De, wala ka namang magagawa na lahat masaya eh May, merong merong magkikritisize kahit ano pang gawin mo so you just have to take it uh, as it comes and as i said keep your mind open and kung talagang uh, it is a it is a constructive criticism then sige makinig ka but uh, you also have to not take it all to heart because kung minsan etong mga nagsasalita ng uh, pinipintas ang kayo is not because they really believe that dahil kalabang mo eh Siyempre. ano pa naman gagawin nila alam nga naman na eh, they pupuriin ka so they will they is part of their job so you just have to take trabaho lang ganyan lang naman talaga bong how many percent of your father's ideology did you believe in meron ba times na sasabi mo hindi pa hindi ganyan eh ito yung pananaw ko lal na i guess when it came to youth affairs well i think in it uh, it, it came after I was. It so happened that when all this uh, turmoil was going on here, um, I was in the I was in England studying political. Well, one of the subjects I was studying was political science, and many times, especially when it is uh, explained to you in a very idealistic way, as it is in school, um, sa sabihin ko, oh, di kung ganon, bakit yung sa amin ganito? And uwi ako, Dad, explain ni mga sa akin ito, and we would we would we would argue. And I came around to his way of thinking. And uh, uh, in terms of the pure, the pure fundamental ideology of, of, of what my father was uh, espousing, uh, I think that still is valid even today. Um, of course, the, the, the time has changed and much has changed. The Philippines has changed. The Philippines have changed. Do you talk to him? Nandito ako nung uh, pinag-uusapan ng kabataan. Ang kabataan ngayon, napakalaking iniba na kesa sa kabataan na nakaraan. Do you think pwede pa tayong bumalik dun sa... Could it be possible na martial law would come back to the Philippines? Could a person be as strong as your father was? Or do you think we have enough electoral safeguards ngayon at malakas na ang Senado at Kongreso na imposible nang mangyari yun ulit? Well, speaking as an oppositionist, uh, I, don't know, <laughs> I don't know na malakas na ang Kongreso at saka ang Senado because uh, the, the Pangasinan Express is one term that has been used about the, House mm -hmm. of, about the Congress. But uh, I, I think what the, it is not what, what, how my father was able to consolidate his uh, foundation was really the key. And if we are going to talk about martial law, ang martial law, ang, ang uh, inaasahan mo, ang sinasandala mo dyan, ang militar. Yes. At kung ang militar ay nakhati, eh, wala kang, hindi, mo, hindi mo magagawa ang martial law dahil pag nag-declare ka ng martial law, kalahati lang sasama sa'yo o ilan lang sasama sa'yo. Yung iba, tumututul, kakalabanin ka pa. So, it won't, it won't work. Uh, it really, you know, many people, many, many people have the impression na naging ganun yung ama ko dahil naisipan niya mag martial law. Mm -hmm. Hindi sa ganun. Ang nangyari, inisa-isa niya yan and he had to consolidate his power, his, the foundations of his power. And you cannot, it is, it is not something that you do by the stroke of a pen. It is really a... Uh, a political exercise yeah, by which you bring all the forces allied to you together na pag you declare something like martial I do not believe that the military is uh, is as united uh, or or has been as united since uh, the events of 86 but are we better off this way now wala tayong general verna strong man lang na medyo yung power talaga is divided we are talking about friends of mine so uh, I would beg to differ I would beg to differ about uh, uh, your outlook. So, but I don't know. Uh, the military should really should really be as one. Uh, and mm -hmm. it is, you know, I spent a little time in the military, and to see soldiers uh, literally shooting each other is a, a very painful thing, and uh, that is something that is to be avoided. So, if we can avoid, if we can avoid the involvement, perhaps of po of, of uh, soldiers in politics, maybe that would be something. But. The way things have happened, the way the, hist the history has, mm -hmm. has unfurled itself, is that I would say that uh, the soldiers have perhaps also earned a right to be part of the political process. Now, how they will exercise that right is something that we in the Philippines will have to dis discuss for ourselves and decide for You're ourselves. You're not talking about the junta. 
No, not Uh-oh. necessarily. Um, not necessarily. I, that's what that's that you see. There is a there is a um, an idea, especially from the Western Mm-mm. Western governments, that gov- that the civilian authorities over the military should be paramount. I agree with that. But whether or not the, civ- the the military should be allowed to make themselves felt as citizens is perhaps another question that we in this country, paano mo ngayon paatrasin ang ramo sa politika? Hindi na mo sasabihin, let us now suddenly declare that all military people are not allowed to involve themselves in politics. That would be crazy because you just couldn't do it. Siyempre They naman, dalat sila butante na, din. Hindi lang sa ganun, nandyan na sila. Mm-hmm. Eh, pinagpag-usapan natin si Greg Hunasan kung tatakbo o hindi. Nandyan na ang ano, paano mo sasabihin? Oh, kung sige. tumakbo siya, iboboto mo ba siya? Si Greg, depende uh-huh. sa platforma niya. Uh, and the so far sa pag pinapag-usapan yung nap- napapag-usapan he is still reformist and uh, mm-hmm. what uh, he intends to do what what he has said that he would do does it impress you it seems to it seems to jive with much of uh, what, much of my thinking so i would i would like to get get into it more i would speak to him about it mm-hmm. but on the face of it i i would say that perhaps uh, we w- we would have much in common Kinokuna nila ako. But before we go to our commercial gap, I need a lighter question from Tita Swarding. Gusto ko marinig yung bong, bong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank yes, you, Tita Chris. Swarding. And good evening, bong, bong, Marcos. No? Uh, kasi bong, bong. <laughs> uh, what, nung uh, tumawag ako sa phone, sa office ng, uh, ng office mo, no? sa congressman's office, uh, para bang, Hanggang ngayon, binabanggit pa ang uh, Chris at Chris sa'yo. Totoo bang nagkaroon ka ng crush kay Chris Aquino? Aray ko naman! Diyos ko! <laughs> okay, sasagutin ni Bongbong yan. After you pause for this, please don't go away. We're back. Arnelli, ano? Ay, ako na ano, embarrassed daw ako sa tanong oh. nyo. Kalain ni Bongbong, pinafeed ko yan. Alin ang alin? Yung may, <laughs> kung meron, nagkaroon siya ng crush sa'yo? Uh-huh. Yung ba yun? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, natin. hindi, Chris. Hindi, sorry, hindi nga. You're so embarrassing. Ah, uh-huh. talaga? I'm sorry, Chris. Pero, uh, nung nakausap ko kasi yung secretary ni uh, Bongbong sa office, Bongbong. lagi daw binabanggit yung, ano, Chris Aquino hanggang ngayon. Totoo uh-huh. yan. Pagka lumalabas ako, oh, ay, 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 ito nagka-crush. Hindi, is it because siguro may Romeo and Juliet mentality yes, talaga ang mga that's Filipino? that's absolutely right. Pagka nagla, nag, 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 lumalabas ako at nagsasalita ako before people, uh, siyempre, at, at, at one point, mag-open forum ko minsan mm-hmm. or sa press conference, lalo sa kabataan, laging tinatanong, uh, kung ikaw ba'y papasok sa larangang pelikula, uh, papayag ka ba na leading lady mo si Chris? Yan ang mga tanong nila sa akin. So, up to now, yan napapag-usapan. Dahil nga dun sa nabanggit mo. Yung nagawang bong you know, and Chris. Ano mo na, ano? Yes, Senorita Preciosa. I have a follow-up question para kay Congressman. Ano? I understand your wife is a lawyer. Uh, was it, what is it like to live with a lawyer wife? Does she nag? Do you argue a lot? Do Will you debate like, at ano, the dinner table? Hillary Rodham Clinton. Well, <laughs> see, Lisa ba has the Lisa, tendency. no. Lisa is, you know Lisa. She's, yes, not, she's not at all like that. Uh, Lisa does not bring her work home. Pagka, uh, da- is she a practicing lawyer? Yes, she is. She is practicing Corporate right or criminal? Uh, she was in litigation, but she's oh. now uh, sort of going towards corporate mm-hmm. more and more. Uh, um, on, on a professional basis, lalo na on, in my work, I need legal opinion. And mm-hmm. ko, nagbabasa ko or something, and there's nobody else to ask. I need a legal opinion. I am lucky to have my wife. So you work to, hand in hand. Well, with your wife. no, we, 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 in terms of profession, because she is, a, she is a professional and she's a lawyer and she's a very good one because I've worked with her. Mm-hmm. And uh, so when it comes to lawyering, uh, out eh, sasabihin ko, hindi naman talaga ako abogado sa so tatanong ko sa kanya. How active is she in politics? Does she go house to house din pag kampanya or it's she's not she's slowly getting getting into it, you know. Uh-huh. The, the, hindi naman siya sanay sa politika. Uh, in fact, pagka sinasabihan siya na kailangan siya pupunta rito, lalabas diyan. She always says I'd rather work uh, quietly behind the scenes, maybe help with the with the arrangements How and all is that. your mom as a mother-in-law? Oh, she's great. She's great. Adalaga. Oh, yeah. In fact, I, I, I always tease her that she's nicer to our to the in-laws than she is to her actual <laughs> kids. She's much stricter with the kids. With uh, Greggy and Tommy and Lisa, she's always very supportive. Pero sa inyo? Well, sa amin, eh, iba na talaga pagka-anak. Eh, magkamali ka lang. Anak mo yun. You know. she, she says she... she again, it's, the, it's mm-hmm. those levels of standards that... Uh, it's those levels of standards that the, my father said. I suppose it's the same kind of thing that uh, she's trying to continue 
to to uh, to keep uppermost in our in our minds that there uh, is a level of standard that you How okay. old is your son now? My I'm son sorry. is my son is uh, ten months. Oh, ten, ten months, months. Oh. One year na March March na pinanganak. So do you think that your son will also be geared towards following in your footsteps? I always say that whatever no my my son will not be pushed or he will be exposed to mm-hmm. everything that that goes on in the in the real world. But uh, he will have a choice, and uh, when the time comes for him to decide what he, his career will be, he will have a choice. He can be a musician, he can be a writer, he can be a politician, he can be any, anything he wants. Speaking uh, Chris, of exposure, Chris. sorry, na, last question. Oh, sige, sige. Kasi sana akong gusto ipagawa eh. Hindi, oh, ito lang sa exposure sige. kasi. Oh. Kasi di ba, ang 1986 had a profound effect on my life as I'm sure it had a profound effect on your life. Do you think na um, with what happened, did it bring your family closer together? Dahil, di ba, in the face of adversity, talaga, sino bang nag-unite kung hindi yung magkakapamilya? Totoong-totoo yan. At uh, they, pagka sinasabi sa akin, is there, what are the good things that happened, you know, because of this, uh, the exile? And sinasabi naman nila, that, uh, sinasabi ko, isa sa pan- pinakamagandang nangyari, talagang nag, nag, uh, naging malapit kami mga pamilya. And, yes. and many, and my, I wasn't married yet then, but my uh, sisters were, with small children mm-hmm. and sinasabi nila mas mabuti na rin in a sense that they now fa- found the time kasi kung hindi nangyari yun they'd be working they'd be doing things hindi nila nakikita yung kanilang anak whereas now they are able to to just they, well during the when we were in exile they could spend time yung walang ginagawa exile. was it a difficult adjustment kasi for us it was a very difficult adjustment because um biglang your walang adjustment period diba normally when someone is elected meron kang time for yung ano diba like in yeah. the states from That's November January pa bago nagkaka-inauguration so mm. maganda yung turning over ito bigla biglaan sa inyo ba ano was it how did it feel na biglang hello goodbye philippines was, hello america and it was it was uh, it was shocking I and mean, the pure sense yung you were you were you were nalaman you were, mo ba kung sino yung mga tunay na kaibigan oh, oh. they say that's what normally happens well ano? talagang uh, makikita mo talaga kung marami sino marami ba talagang balimbing bong <laughs> ano po <laughs> bakit sorry yes. ano, uh, as, oh, ano. as we've mentioned this is history in the making oh, oh. You know? pero matagal-tagal Ay, bago maulit ito na masagot mo muna sa kanya oh. yun yung tukot sa balimbing ayun balimbing oh sige oh, 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 mamaya makopa naman yung sabi mo sige kung maraming balimbing alam mo ang tingin ko ganito people people are not are not hindi naman masama ang tao meron masama talaga na hindi naman hindi naman kailangan mamintas pa eh marami pang sinasabi but there are people na makikita mo eh, that's, that's their survival din eh hinate mo ba kami? ha? 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 ito na nga ito ang magandang ha? 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 na ano kasi Sige before she, I was telling him na I was a year and a half tapos sabi ko kulang na lang isipin ko meron kayong mga horn sa ulo <laughs> dahil syempre di ba yun ang kinalakihan ko so Sige I was nga, wondering Sige kung nga. was the situation the same for them well uh, I think you know in our case because we have as I said been in politics for a long time yung mga personal na ano namin hindi masyadong pumapasok yan sa hate and oh. love and, <laughs> well siguro sa umpisa you know when you unang unang reaction mo uh, sasabihin mo bakit naman ganito bakit yung mga taong ganyan? but after a while uh, lalo na yung sa 86 nung nasa Hawaii kami sabi mo ganun talaga ang buhay wala kang magagawa just get on with it uh, and again we really got, we really came to the conclusion that they, to cloud your mind Mm-hmm. with all of this uh, emotion especially when you're talking about your public life is is a dangerous thing so iniwasan namin yon and with all of... yun to separate it you have to you just have to okay arnel ah, oh ito na nako nakabuelo rin ako <laughs> sorry ano <laughs> iba klase ka talaga nag absent ka lang ng isang uh, lunes eh nag turbo ka na eh <laughs> 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 kasi dito jo marie na papa impress oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you you are very very good Oh, mm. pero Chris, alam mo sinabi nga natin history in the making ito na interviewin mo si Congressman Bongbong Marcos. Now, hindi na tayo siguro makakapag-antay pa ng isang beses na maulit ito. Yes. Na kung sakasakali magkabaliktad ang sitwasyon na si Congressman ang may show at ikaw naman ang i-interview. Pwede, pwede ba- ano, siya mag- ano kaya kung balikta rin natin for a while? Congressman, is there a question in your mind na noon pa hindi mo pa namimit yes. si Chris? Puro sa diaryo lang. Ano gusto mo itanong sa kanya? Yung mainit-init ah. Well, I suppose... Kahit hindi political. 
kahit hindi oh, political. Oh, wag Ay hindi political <laughs> dahil hindi na wala naman sa larangan oh. politika si Chris. So, I would do. No, I would support Yung mga na headline. Yung sinabi mo parang uh, oh. <laughs> a question for Chris Aquino from <laughs> then, Congressman Bongbong Market. Hindi yung sinasabi mo akalain niyo na sa amin may sungay na oh, and, oh. And, and all that. How did that come about because we never we you know, we were all Human ikaw siguro personally, but syempre, 'di ba? Ang nakatatak sa utak ko, the reason my dad was in jail was because of your dad. Hmm. So tapos ang Oy, gano'n ka diretso daw. Hindi, totoo naman ho talaga yun. Kasi nga, I was explaining to him, I was only 18 months old when martial law was declared. So, 18 months lang ako nun. So, syempre, ang kinalakihan ko, dumadalo kami sa Fort Bonifacio. And tinatanong ko, bakit ganito? Bakit ganyan? Or, and syempre, bumabalik sa daddy mo. But then, I remember, of course, na your mom was very nice to my dad nung nagka-heart attack ang daddy ko at ang mommy mo nag-facilitate na makapunta kami sa Amerika. So, hindi naman ako blinded totally na lahat ng ginawa nyo evil. Hindi naman ganon. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I once saw your dad when he uh -huh. came to uh, when he came to the palace. Yes. Uh, na balitaan namin. Sa, I was hanging around. Si Daddy nag-iisa sa opisina niya. Sabi ko, bakit walang tao? Bakit walang bisita? Sabi, pupunta si Ninoy. Mag-uusap silang dalawa. And your father arrived. And mm -hmm. I was so surprised. Nakatago ako sa likod. This usual ko, basta may, may, may alam kong medyo importante ang nangyayari. Like, you talk about history uh -huh. in the making. That was history in the making. Uh, nakatago ako sa likod. And I was so surprised. Ang tawagan nila, Brad. Because they were both from Upsilon, right? And I remember a question that my father asked. And uh -huh. it's, your, your father asked this. Sabi, Brad, bakit mo naman ako kinukulong? Bakit mo naman ako mm -hmm. linagay sa Fort Bonifacio? Ang tanong naman ng tatay ko siya, uh -huh. Brad, kung ikaw nasa position mo, sa position ko, hindi mo ba gagawin? Ayun, uh -huh. nagtawanan silang dalawa. So I suppose they were able to to uh, see further than, uh, than well, that's that. Well, siguro, di ba, pagka mag-anak ka, mas matindi talaga ah, yung talaga. nararamdaman uh, well, mo. Well, sa bagay, kung... Uh, Kung ganun ang papagos. siguro if um, eight months from now and you were jailed, siguro yung, yung anak mo rin naman siguro, yun ang kalalakihan. Kung sino man yung in power at that time will also be, I guess. Well, we, I, it, I suppose it's inevitable that uh, that that would happen. Basta sa, especially sa Philippines where the politics is taken so personally. Yes. Napakalaking problema natin yan dito sa Pilipinas. Dapat ang... ang politiko hindi naman na uh, hindi naman dapat pinapasukan ng personal but uh, but in fairness naman I've always said every time na papanood ko si Bongbong na napakatalino niya napakaarticulate na at mukha naman siyang hindi makakapatay ng tao so yun naman ang sinasabi ba mukha siyang mabait talaga please Yes. Uh, excuse me, no? Ang ganda kasi ng discussion na talaga sobra over my dead body. Sa totoong <laughs> gusto ko lang, uh, saludong-saludo ako sa inyong dalawa, hinahangaan ko kayo kasi napakatalino nyo, ano? Pero kayong dalawang tatanungin ko, uh, someday, may ambition ba kayo na uh, tumakbong presidente? And would you be like your father? Uh -huh. In case you'll be At maglalaban pa kayong dalawa? Uh Oo. -oh. <laughs> would the scenario be the same? I think, in my case, um, mas mahirap siguro because babae nga ako. And yung sa mommy ko was a very special situation. I think, to this day, very, very male chauvinistic ang ating society. So, mahihirapan pa ho ang mga babae. I don't know if 30 years from now, the situation will be different. Uh -huh. Pero um, ako siguro, gusto ko maglingkod sa mga mama mayan, but I don't think politics is my cup of tea at this moment. Yes, um, what about Bongbong? Bong? Excuse me, Bongbong. Bong. Una-una, I beg to differ. Ang, oh. ang mga, wala nang, ano, wala nang, di, lalo na ngayon sa, we'll talk again about the youth. Yung mga kabataan, yung mga chauvinistic na dating uh, cultural uh, impediments natin, wala na ngayon yan. And I would say that uh, certainly, in in our society, there are so many many of the many women are dominant in their societies. As in sa Ilocano, talagang matriarchal society kami, and we really respect the role of a mother, wife, and uh, uh, the woman. In, so in, I guess you make culture. a very good husband, because it's well, I, I, I try. <laughs> what about I, I tr you? Yung about running for the presidency, I don't know. Uh, Is it one step at a time? No, I did not ano? enter politics to uh, to become president. Uh, I, you entered it for what? Purpose? I entered very specific. Yung akin, eh, dun lang nasa Hawaii kami. I remember when we arrived, they literally took everything away from yes. us, and when we arrived, we had nothing. And ang mga tumutulong sa amin, yung mga, mga Ilocano, alam naman natin, ang daming Ilocano doon sa Hawaii. 
And po, lumalapit sila, tinutulungan kami, nagpap, uh, nagluluto sila, nagpinapakain kami, nagkoleksyon pa sa, para uh-huh. makabili ng refrigerator, kung ano-ano. So, you know, you can imagine, this is some, somebody who... who, who Mararamdaman you, mo talaga oh, yeah, yung yeah, pagmamahal yeah. ng mga tao. So, ang aming so, iniisip, sabi, kailangan natin magpasalamatan itong mga ito. And this is what, how well do you serve the province? But also, I wanted to be part of the national debate. So, yes. I entered, sabi ko, ideal ang Congress. At uh, hindi ko naman iniisip ang pagka-Senado. Eh, napapag-usapan na lang yan. So, I, I guess here we are now, life as a, mm-hmm. as a way of, of surprising us. And now that uh, I'm here, but I, I do not, I'm not, I did not go in, oh, uunahin ko yung congressman, tapos magsisenado ko, tapos tatakbo ko bilang pangulo. Hindi ganun ang pag-iisip ko. Ang iniisip ko lang, paano maka, makapag, uh, makapagsilbi sa tao. And uh, we will see if uh, that comes, but it is not the end result. Because ang unusual sa atin dalawa, nakita natin yung pagkapangulo, hindi lang yung sa television. Yes. Nakikita natin kung gano'ng kahirap talaga yun. And the 20 years I'll ask you, napanood mo ba, Dave? Yes. Yeah. Kasi kaming lahat talaga tuwan-tuwa dun sa pelikula oh, yun. Did, did you feel the same way? I uh, felt ano? it would have been wonderful if we could have uh, we could have done something like that. But oh, oh. Uh, unfortunately, it's ang sine lang yun. But it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have taken a little bit of a break. Okay, before we close, I guess, ang uh, tatanayin ko lang si Bongbong, do you think that the name Marcos is an asset or a liability in terms of politics? Sobra bang expectations ng mga tao sa'yo? Well, uh, in not in, in a sense, it is it is a liability mm-hmm. in that sense because they, kahit na sinasabi ko, no, actually, wala naman akong binabalik sa, yeah, yeah, you will be president in 10 years. Maraming mm-hmm. mga ganun. Uh, and you know you cannot you cannot uh, uh, say na, no I I have no intention that it's, it's somehow disappointing to them, but that is not that is not essential uh, an essential problem. Uh, ang, I think all, overall, in fact, I have not yet found a situation where it has been a liability. Um, uh, after all, I can come and uh, speak to you on your show. So being oh. a Marcos has not uh, held he has not held me back in any way. It's our pleasure to have you, Dibab. Would you like to leave a message since nationwide na papanood tayo ngayon? Lalong lalo na siguro sa constituents mo sa Well, ra- lalo na na ngayon na napapag-usapan natin ng uh, mga kabataan. I would just like to... Uh, you feel you're still part of the youth? Well, n- maybe I'm... Pwede pa, di ba? Kasi uh, under 39. Hirap na. Hirap na. And, namimili- and, uh, namimilit na. <laughs> but... Uh, I still feel sympathetic to, to what, they, what they have to face. And uh, kung, kagaya na sabi ko, napapag-usapan ng kabataan, I would like, for, first of all, to congratulate all the delegates for the good work that they did uh, with the Pope's uh, visit. At ituloy ninyo yan, tuloy niyo yung pag, uh, pag-aktivista uh, ninyo, tuloy niyo yung pakikialam ninyo, at kailangan kayo ng ating bansa. Do not stop, stay involved, we need you. Thank you very much, Congressman. It was a pleasure having you. Anything from you? My opponent question kasi yung mga taga Pampanga, Bong Bong, kung tatakbo yes. ka daw talagang senator. Uh, mukhang sa takbo ng panahon, ganun ang patungo ng aking gagawin. Yes, it looks like I will be running for the senator. Congratulations senate. in advance. Yes. Thank you very Senorita much. Senorita Preciosa. Okay. No thank, you much, thank you very much, Thank you very much. Okay, thank okay, you so thank much. You. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Maraming maraming salamat po. Actually, you now will be back. Thank you, Congressman. Uh,